Good evening, VA Rep family. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. <laughs> Thank you all so very much for being here this evening, taking the time away from your families. We know that it's a commitment for you to be here advocating for our men and women of service, and it means so much to us. I have four children at home back in Arizona. They've probably called at least 20 times wanting to know when I'm going to be home. So I know a lot of you are experiencing the same thing, taking time away from your businesses and families. And just from the national board and from all of us here at VA Rep, we just want to say thank you very much. So please give yourselves a round of applause. Last year, as we continued to hear about the epidemic of veteran suicide, San really wanted to know what could we do as VA Rep to get involved to help end this crisis. And so San and Dustin came up with the Stop, Drop, and Push campaign. So you see a couple of pop-ups right here off to the side. And tonight I'm just going to take a few minutes to share with you what Stop, Drop, and Push is all about and how each and every one of you here this evening can get involved. So brothers and sisters, I just want to say to you that 22 of our veterans are making the desperate decision every single day to end their life. That's 8,000 of our brothers and sisters that die every single year. Do you hear this number? 8,000 of our brothers and sisters. We must get more involved as an organization. The statistics are staggering, and I know a lot of you here already know these statistics. A lot of you are deeply involved in this community. But what we do know is that women are committing suicide at a rate six times greater than civilian women. 65% of those that are committing suicide are over the age of 50. This isn't just our younger generation that is struggling. And we know so many of them struggle in silence. We believe that over 50% of those that have some type of PTS do not even get any kind of help. And so I'd like to just talk to you about a couple of things that we know are attributing factors to veteran suicide. We know that survivor's guilt, self-blame, substance abuse, PTS, TBI, MST, and just struggling to reintegrate back into civilian life are some of the leading contributors to veteran suicide. Now, I said a few acronyms in there, and I know most of you probably already know them, but if you would just give me an opportunity to go through a couple of them. PTS, post-traumatic stress, anytime something that is shocking or um, very sudden can cause this. We know that sometimes it's believed that you have to be in battle to experience PTS, but we know that's not the case. There's many attributing factors to where PTS can, can root from. And there's a real big push right now in this movement to drop that D, that disorder. I think veterans are sick and tired of being stigmatized with that disorder word. And so we're hearing a lot less of that D being used when we're talking about post-traumatic stress. And so it's just something for all of us to be mindful of when we're talking to our brothers and sisters out in the community. MST, military sexual trauma. One in four women in their military career will have experienced some type of military sexual trauma. This can be anything from an inappropriate comment all the way to sexual assault. And this number is one in 100 for men. And we know that these numbers are pretty underreported. TBI, traumatic brain injury. Again, some type of a, an injury due to uh, gunshot wounds or an accident that happened. We know 22% of veterans currently have some type of TBI, and this is another leading contributor that falls into the depression and then, unfortunately, veteran suicide. Now, one of the things that the Stop, Drop, and Push campaign really wants to focus on is how do we get involved? And as we were really thinking about this, we realized that there's a lot of incredible programs throughout the United States that offer some type of alternative therapy or holistic training, or, or holistic care, excuse me. And a lot of these programs are free. They're all around the United States. There's people doing some really great things. But what we recognized was that there's a lot of veterans that are not taking advantage of these programs. So then the question became, why? 
Why are these veterans not participating? And what we were hearing out there is that although the, the program itself was free, there was cost associated to get them to the program. So if you had a veteran in California who wanted to attend a retreat in the mountains of Arizona, the $300 airline ticket to get them there was the reason they weren't able to attend. Now how ridiculous is that for a $300 airline ticket to stop a veteran to being able to receive some type of alternative therapy? It's crazy. So that's where we realized that we could be a part of that bridge. And so the Stop, Drop, and Push campaign is our way of making sure that we bring awareness to veteran suicide, the reintegration issues that we, are, we know exist out there, and then of course, educating the public and being the resource for our men and women. And so we're nationally collecting a database of nonprofits all around the United States that offer this type of holistic and alternative therapy. And we will become the resource to allow veterans to go and look at this directory and get them to, to places that look like a good match for them. So I would like to show a video that talks a little bit about what Stop, Drop, and Push campaign is all about. Last year, if you, those of you that were in Florida, you may remember we did a little push-up competition at the bar. Um, and in just less than 30 minutes, we raised over $5,000 at the bar. <laughs> and those of you that were not there, it was an incredible time, but we put the Army against the Navy, against the Marines, against the Coast Guard, and whoever, you know, we, we were putting bets down on who could do the most push-ups, and just like that. And so we thought, oh my gosh, in 30 minutes, we just raised $5,000? What could we do if we put some more focused effort toward this campaign. And so this video will also show you how we use some of that money that we raised that night. So if you're curious about where that money went, you'll get to see how we distributed that money. So please watch this video, and I'll be back to talk to you after it's over. My name is Jessica Morrell, and I am an Army veteran and currently serve as the National Director for the Stop, Drop, and Push campaign. Our mission is to bring awareness to the epidemic of the 22 lives lost of veteran suicide every single day. We collaborate with organizations around the United States that offer holistic alternative therapy to help with the healing process for our veterans. We cannot stand by idly as more than 22 of our veterans commit suicide every single day. I heard about stateside Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu through my wife. Uh, Joe Lutrario, he uh, spoke with me about the Stateside Warrior Foundation here to help veterans and uh, first responders with um, some stress issues. Was a police officer prior to enlisting in the Marine Corps. And Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu being something that uh, in his uh, experience helped relieve uh, symptoms that he experienced from uh, duty as a police officer. And allowed me to not try and muscle things and that's actually translating into the real world. It's given me a little bit longer fuse and uh, allowing me to have some more patience with situations that normally set me off. Hello, my name is uh, Sergeant First Class Arviso. I'm from Fort Defiance, Arizona. In the Army, I was a staff sergeant. My job was a medic with the occupational therapy identifier. I do not participate in any uh, programs for veterans. Uh, simply because where I live, I live in a remote area in northern Arizona. The biggest situation problem I have is uh, transportation, getting to and from uh, certain locations. I was in the United States Army. I was a Patriot Missile uh, System Operator and Mechanic. Uh, Desert Storm Veteran, I was deployed the duration of the Desert Storm. I'm learning uh, Adobe Photoshop as well as Adobe Illustrator programs that I didn't even know you know, existed prior to um, taking this course. Found out about Horse Rhythm through Honor House. I was having some pretty serious PTSD issues in my life and they turned me on to horse therapy. Part of the, uh, what they work on here is dealing with PTS, traumatic brain injuries, uh, military sexual trauma, things like that. Uh, spending time around the horses is very therapeutic. And we started teaching here and um, we wanted to help as much as we could, really to help people that experience post-traumatic stress, whether it's in the police department, fire department, military. What my, uh, my goals, my future goals for um, 
you know, how I'll be utilizing this training, I, I really believe or feel that the sky is the limit. I'm Arne Cook. I'm the Executive Secretary of Horse Rhythm Foundation and also one of the founding members. Horse Rhythm was founded by Shaika Riley. She's a breast cancer survivor who, through her battle with cancer, utilized um, the services of animal therapies. That's how Horse Rhythm was born. We noticed that they were feeling better. So we felt that it was important to offer this to other people and really show them there was something that could really make a difference. Um, and it helped in all areas of their lives. They slept better, their personal relationships, on behalf of the Veterans Association of Real Estate Professionals and the Stop, Drop, and Push campaign, we would like to present this $1,000 check, this $1,500 donation to Stateside Warriors, to Sergeant First Class Arviso, to Create a Drill Sergeant, to Horse Rhythm Foundation, for him to participate in Heroes on the Water program here in Arizona. Yay! Supporting the Stop, Drop, and Push campaign is as simple as one, two, and three. One, help us keep the dialogue going by liking our Facebook page and then post a video of you doing 22 push-ups and then donate $22. Use the hashtag stop, drop, push. Two, if you are a corporate sponsor and would like to join our mission, please contact us. Three, if you are an organization that offers alternative therapy or holistic care for our veterans, please reach out to us so we can add you to our national directory. This is definitely near and dear to me, so thank you for that. Um, I have two sisters that served in the military, and my baby sister um, has really just had a hard time reintegrating, and I've just watched her perseverance and her commitment to um, keep rising. And so for me, this is very personal work, um, and I'm just thankful that Son has given me an opportunity to be a part of this campaign. And so I'm asking all of you here this evening, as you go back into your um, cities, you will be hearing from me. We are having our very first fundraiser in Las Vegas. <laughs> and I'm super excited about it. We, it's comedy for a cause, and we have an incredible goal to raise $250,000 for the Stop, Drop, and Push campaign. How many of you think we can get that done? Yeah. So it's August 18th, and so you can go to the Stop, Drop, and Push page and learn more about the event. You'll also be hearing about it from us, uh, from the national office. I challenge every chapter to raise $500 towards this campaign. There's many ways that you can do it. I know one of the chapters has a boot camp exercise. Which chapter is that? East Bay. East, East Bay. Bay. And they are already raising money for the Stop, Drop, and Push campaign. You can add it to your Lunch and Learns. You can do this with your database as you're calling and networking with, with your database. You can let them know that you're a part of this as well. So there's many ways for each chapter to get involved. And I really challenge everybody to um, just look into what we're doing. We also definitely want you guys to be letting us know about organizations in your area that we can add to our national directory. And of course, social media. We know it matters. Does anybody know The Rock here? <laughs> or LL Cool J, that would be so amazing for me. Um, <laughs> we are looking for a celebrity spokesperson. So if you have someone that you know of that you're in relationship with that could help us be a part of this campaign, our, our goal is to make this just like the water bucket challenge, and just like all the other challenges that we see on social media, because we know people are looking there as well. So again, if you want to do your 22 push-ups, record yourself, and hashtag and share, all that good stuff, that's another way to help us keep this message going. And then the last thing that I just want to share with all of you is if you don't already have the VA crisis number saved in your phone, please make sure you do that before you leave this conference. one 800 
273-TALK. Since they launched in 2007, they have taken over 3 million calls. So they're doing some incredible work. And if you've got someone you love who you know is needing some help and they're not ready to call, you can call for them and they'll offer you some resources there as well. So it's an incredible number and a great resource for everybody to have. And so with all of that being said, I just want to thank you guys again for, for giving us all this opportunity to be together and to be the voice for our military community. Housing is one piece of what we do, and the Stop, Drop, and Push campaign is something that we just feel is the right thing to do as well. So later in the night, if you're feeling like super high speed and you're ready to come up here and do some push-ups, we will record our first video for our Stop, Drop, and Push Facebook page so that you can share it and have something to go back out to your people. And so I know there's some, some people that are real ready for that. And with that, I'd like to turn this back over to San. So thank you very much. Thank you.